So now, if you're using a 100 ohm quarter watt uh, resistor, I recommend keeping the voltage across it to about 3.5 volts. So a lot of uh, power supplies are 5 volts and so on, um, which is higher than this, but usually you got series uh, uh, semiconductors which drop some of the voltage or series resistance which uh, divides up the voltage. So you just want to make sure that you keep about 3.5 volts or less across the 100 ohm resistor. With 3.5 volts, you'll get about 35 milliamps of current flowing through the resistor. And um, so we got the math there, 3.5 volts, 5 100 ohms, 0 0.035 amps. Make sure you do the Ohm's Law formula in amps right there. Now that current going through it times uh, 3.5 volts right there, we got 0.1225 watts. Quarter watt resistor is a 0.25 watt maximum. We want to stay about halfway below that, um, which we are uh, pretty close to right there. So now, you'll see 220 ohms uh, quarter watt resistors a lot in circuits, especially my circuits. I usually protect red LEDs from 5 volts all the time. Now, we can put 5 volts directly across the 220 ohm resistor. We'll get about 22.7 milliamps of current. There's the math uh, right there. And uh, make sure you do the math in amps, and that's rounded off right there. But usually I have a uh, like a red LED in series with it, which drops like 2 volts. So we end up with about 3 volts across the resistor, and uh, therefore the current's lower. But in any case, um, even if we put 5 volts across there, getting 22.7 milliamps of current, um, which again is 0 .0227 amps, and that 227 continues forever, so I just uh, got rid of it. We uh, round it off. Times 5 volts, you got 0.1135 watts right there. So a quarter watt resistor is a 0.25 watt maximum. You want to stay about halfway, and this is uh, pretty close to just a little bit below halfway right there. So now, often you'll see uh, 1,000 ohm resistors and uh, circuits up to like 12 volts, and uh, we can put 11 volts directly across it, my recommended uh, maximum. And um, so in a 12 volt circuit, probably you'll have like an LED in series with it, or maybe something else that's dropping uh, some of the voltage. But in case, you wanna make sure that the uh, voltage across the resistor, in my opinion, should be about 11 volts or less. But uh, with the 11 volts, we'll get about 11 milliamps of current. So you can see the math there. 11 volts divided by 1,000 ohms, 1K means the same thing as 1,000 ohms, equals uh, 0.011 amps. Make sure you do Ohm's Law in amps for 11 milliamps of current. You can convert it. So when you take uh, that amount of current, 0 0.011 amps times 11 volts right there, you got 0 0.121 watts, how much uh, heat you can expect it to generate and have to dissipate. And uh, a quarter watt resistor is 0.25 watts. You want to stay about halfway below that. So we have that right there. So now, 10 watt uh, resistors are not terribly common, but they're also not uh, terribly rare. They're pretty easy to get, especially in like five ohms. And so any case, if you have a five ohm, 10 watt resistor, I recommend keeping the voltage across it to about five volts or less right there. With five volts, we'll get about one amp of current right there. Five volts divided by five ohms equals one amp. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you do the Ohm's Law formula in amps right there, which is really easy in this case. So one amp of current going through the resistor, five volts across it, we got about five watts of power. How much it's gonna heat it's gonna create and have to dissipate. So that's half of the uh, maximum wattage right there. So that's what I aim for. And uh, of course, make sure it's exposed to air. So now, if you need like two amps, you can just parallel another five ohm, 10 watt resistor. Each one of them will pass this amount of current and create that much heat, but their currents will add up as far as the rest of the circuit's concerned. Um, and you can do that with all resistors. So now, again, 10 watt resistors are uh, not common, but uh, they're not too hard to get either, especially in uh, 10 ohms right there, not terribly expensive. If you're using a 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor, I re recommend keeping the voltage across it to seven volts or less. With seven volts, we got uh, 0.7 amps of current uh, flowing through the resistor and whatever's in series with it. Um, remember, other stuff will drop or divide up the voltage as well. Um, but uh, when it comes to resistors, seven volts across it, divided by 10 ohms of resistance, you got 0.7 amps. And uh, so here's why. We got 0.7 amps through the resistor times seven volts across the resistor. It's gonna create uh, 4.9 watts of heat uh, right there. That needs to be dissipated. So it's good to keep that halfway below the absolute maximum value and keep it exposed to air and whatnot. And again, if that's not enough uh, uh, current when you have this much voltage but you got a bunch of those resistors, just parallel them and their currents will add up. So now, we're gonna talk about a six ohm, 50 watt resistor right there. So this particular value is uh, common 
for a certain app automobile application right there so these aren't terribly expensive they also got connectors where it's very easy to uh, parallel them to other stuff that come uh, with those resistors but in any case we can put about 12 volts across uh, this particular resistor right there that's only going to give us like two amps as uh, voltage goes up and uh, you know current goes up wattage goes up really quickly so we need kind of a high value right there so you can see 12 volts uh, divided by 6 ohms equals 2 amps uh, right there and uh, so you know 2 amps times uh, 12 volts 24 watts of power that's a lot of heat that's being generated so we have to dissipate a lot of heat now you'll commonly see these in automobile applications which can get up to like 15 volts um, but they're also attached to metal which is going to help dissipate heat as well so I think that's the main factor for why